In this video we look at logic gate diagrams and truth tables. When we draw logic in diagrammatic form, each gate has its own symbol. Here we can see the symbol for not. Note the little circle at the end of the symbol. This will help you remember for other symbols. Here is the symbol for and. This is the symbol for nand, an and followed by a not. And you'll notice the little circle always indicates a not. Here is the symbol for or, and you'll notice that it's got a curved back. And this will distinguish it from an and. Sometimes the or is drawn a little bit like an and, so it's curved, and that isn't very helpful. But look at the back, because the back is always curved on an or symbol. The symbol for XOR has a double curved back. A NOR, that's OR followed by NOT, looks like this. And of course, we've got the little symbol indicating a NOT. So these symbols can be joined together to create what are known as logic gate diagrams. Here we have an AND gate, a NOT gate, and an OR gate. And you'll notice that there are three inputs, A, B, C, and two further inputs, D, E, and one output, F. Now what we do with this diagram is build what is known as a truth table. We take each of the inputs and they can be true or false, and put their binary values into the table. Now, of course, they can be zero or they can be one. And when you're learning to build these truth tables, it's very easy to get confused with which combination you've done and which one you haven't. So I'm gonna show you a little trick to make that really easy. Basically, what you do is count up in binary with the three inputs that you've got. So we've got 0, 0, 0 is 0, of course. Now we need 1. 0, 0, 1, followed by 2, followed by 3, followed by 4, 5, 6, 7. And you will have all the inputs that are possible. Now D is the AND of A and B. So A and B, 0, 0 is 0. 0, 0 is 0. 0, 1 is 0. 0, 1 is 0. 1, 0 is 0. 1, 0 is 0. 1, 1 is 1. 1, 1 is 1. Now E is the NOT of C. So C is 0, E is 1. C is 1, E is 0. 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. F is the OR of D and E. So 0, 1 is 1. 0, 0 is 0. 0, 1 is 1. 0, 0 is 0. 0, 1 is 1, 0, 0 is 0, 1, 1 is 1, 1, 0 is 1. So now that we've completed the truth table, we can see for any given set of three inputs what the output will be. So for example, if we've got 1, 0, 0 as our input, we're going to have 1 as our output. Let's look at another example. So here we've got an OR, an AND, a NOT. And we've got our three inputs, A, B, C. Three further inputs, D, E, F, and an output, G. 
So in the truth table, it's going to look a little bit like this. Now remember what we learned about how to do the first three inputs here. And of course, if you've got more than three inputs, if you've got four inputs, then you're just going to continue adding up in binary. But of course, you're going to have more combinations. So we've got the number zero. Don't forget the number zero. Sometimes people do. And then you've got one, two, three, four five, six, seven. So D is the OR of A and B. So let's go through there, looking at A and B, and if there's a 1 in either of them, then the output is going to be a 1. Now E is the same as C. We didn't really need to have this variable here at all, but we've just put it in there to show an illustration. F is the AND of D and E, so we're looking for D and E to both be 1, for the output to be 1. So we'll just go through here and mark where those are the cases. G is the NOT of F, so we look at F and we flip the binary in there. And there we go, our truth table is complete.